welcome back everyone in this video i will be explaining that how to fix a missing network adapter like wi-fi or lan adapter in windows 10 or windows 11. now before starting i would recommend you that kindly go ahead and restart the computer because many times this simple restart fix a problem without doing any kind of troubleshooting but if you have already tried that the next what you will have to do right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion click on device manager in the device manager click anywhere then from the top menu option click on view and then click on show hidden devices now you can click on network adapter and check back if you get your missing network adapter back or not if not then again from the top menu option only click on action then click on scan for hardware changes and again check back as these are the basic but very powerful solutions in case if this also doesn't work then next what you will have to do you need to temporarily disable the vpn and your entire virus security so make a right click on the windows icon again then click on settings now in the setting from the left hand menu option click on network and internet then click on vpn and if there is any kind of vpn enable then you have to disable it then go back click on proxy and if there is any proxy or enable then you have to also disable it and after that if you are using the virus and threat protection the windows default protection then click on your setting search type virus click virus and threat protection from the suggestion click manage settings under virus and threat protection settings then disable the real-time protection and after that check back again if the problem get fixed if not then you can re-enable the security and now next click on your windows search again type network and in the suggestion somewhere you will be getting find and fix network problem click on it and you will be getting this kind of page troubleshoot and help prevent computer problem so click on advanced here and make sure that this option apply repair automatically has been checked then you have to click on next click troubleshoot my connection or if you get any other suggestion like asking for what kind of adapter you're having the problem so you can choose the adapter where you have the problem with and now within few seconds it will automatically detect and try to fix the problem or else it will give you some kind of suggestion to fix such problems but if you don't get any help from here as well then you have to click on close next click on your windows search type cmd right click on command prompt choose run as administrator then click on yes now in the black window you have to type few command and all these command you will find in the description so you can also copy and paste so the first one will be netsh space winsock space reset hit the enter key now the next one will be ip config space forward slash flush dns and the last command will be net cfg space minus sign d again hit the enter key and now you can close it next click on your windows search type services hit the enter key in the services you have to look for two different service by the name wvan autoconfig and wlan autoconfig so click anywhere then press the w key so that you can come to the w section now scroll down until you find wvan or wlan here it is wlan autoconfig once you get it double click on it now make sure this startup type has been selected to automatic the status should be running and you can see it has been stopped so you have to click on start once it started click on apply then click on ok now you need to do the same with wan auto config so again double click on it choose the startup type to automatic start the service click on apply then click on ok once it's been done close it click on your windows search again type reset click on network reset from the suggestion then click on reset now and then click on yes again so once the settings are being resetted restart the computer and check back if the problem has been fixed and if you are now able to view your network adapter or not but even after applying all these solution if nothing is working for you then you will have to manually download the driver 
of your Wi-Fi or LAN, whichever you have the problem with from the manufacturer website. So you can go to Google and whichever manufacturer you're using, let's say we are using uh, Intel Wi-Fi. So you can type Intel Wi-Fi driver for Windows 11 or Windows 10, whichever you are using. Hit the enter key. Click on the first link of intel.com. And from here, you can download the driver. Once it's been downloaded, you have to run it. Same you have to do with the LAN. If you're using the Intel LAN, then you can download the Intel Ethernet driver. If you're using the Realtek, then you can download the Realtek one. All right. So this is the another solution in case if nothing is working. And even if this doesn't work, then you will have to make sure that your Windows is up to date. Now, many times recently, I have seen that many people who have not updated their windows from a long time they are having such kind of issues with their windows security and even with their wi-fi and ethernet connection so it's very simple whichever uh, operating system you're using click on your windows search type update click on check for updates and here click check for update again and you can see i have the update available so i have to simply download and install it and once the updates are installed restart the computer check back your problem will be fixed now in case if none of the solution is working for you then we have a couple of more solutions like in case if you are using any kind of laptop that contains a battery removable battery then try to remove the battery from your laptop press and hold the power button for at least 15 to 20 seconds and after that reconnect your battery plug the adapter back then restart the computer then restart your laptop and check back if the issue has been resolved and if not then you can go with the full power recycle let's say if you're using the pc then you need to remove all the cable from your pc like the vga the power cable everything once everything has been removed press and hold the power button of your computer for at least 15 to 20 seconds leave it reconnect all the cable back and again start the computer and check back all right, so these are the best and possible solution, guys, to fix your network adapter missing problem on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Hopefully, guys, these all solution will work for you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any kind of doubt, any question, let me know in the comment section. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.